Welcome to Microchips Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Hong Kong Research Center launches AI tool to aid in brain surgery procedures. Is the bull market about to turn into a bubble? Stock market today, S&P 500, Nasdaq dip ahead of key inflation print. S&P TSX Composite Index post small gain Monday, US markets mixed. Singapore chipmaking startup to invest 3.2 billion euros in Italy. Hong Kong Research Center launches AI tool to aid in brain surgery procedures. South China Morning Post. The Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics, CARE, in Hong Kong has unveiled the CARE's Copilot 1.0 AI tool, designed to assist neurosurgeons in complex brain surgery. The tool has already undergone internal testing in Hong Kong and mainland China, and is capable of generating information from academic papers to ensure the accuracy of answers. The tool has been trained on a variety of databases, including text, images, MRI and CT scans, with the aim of helping doctors make better decisions by combining multiple sources of information. CARE is the first branch of China's National Research Institute to be located outside the mainland. Is the bull market about to turn into a bubble? Economist. Stock market today, S&P 500, Nasdaq dip ahead of key inflation print. Yahoo! Singapore chipmaking startup to invest 3.2 billion euros in Italy. Financial Times. Singaporean semiconductor startup Silicon Box plans to invest 3.2 billion euros, 3.8 billion dollars, to build a chipmaking plant in Italy. The facility, which will produce chips for electric vehicles, artificial intelligence, and high-performance computing, is expected to employ 1,600 people once fully operational. The move is part of Italy's effort to attract investment in high-tech industries and reduce dependence on China for strategic supplies. The European Union aims to double its semiconductor production capacity by 2030 as part of its de-risking strategy to strengthen supply chains and reduce vulnerabilities. European tech darling brought down to earth in span of two days. Bloomberg. Shares of Dutch chip equipment maker B Semiconductor Industries have fallen by 12% on Monday following a 16% decline on Friday. The drop was triggered by concerns over delays in the adoption of the company's hybrid bonding technology. A report from Korean news website ZDNet stated that chipmakers plan to relax the standard that determines the thickness of next-generation memory chips. Analysts predict that adoption of the expensive technology by memory chip producers, including Samsung and Micron, is unlikely to happen until after 2026. Taiwan's perilous path in a distracted world. Financial Times. China's recent confrontational activities in and around Taiwan's waters have raised concerns of a potential crisis over Taiwan's future. While the long-feared scenario of a Chinese invasion across the Taiwan Strait remains a possibility, a more insidious threat has emerged in the form of confrontational Chinese activity in the gray zone, where it falls just short of outright aggression. This includes incidents involving fishing boats and Coast Guard vessels on the fringes of Taiwanese waters. The fear is that these incidents could escalate and give China a pretext to launch an attack on Taiwan. U.S. trade sanctions, software gap taking toll on China's cybersecurity ambitions. South China Morning Post. The chairman of Chinese cybersecurity firm Qian Xian has warned that U.S. trade sanctions and the country's lagging domestic software pose the biggest threats to China's cybersecurity. Qi Xiangdong said that supply disruptions of high-end chips and software are affecting China's ability to produce high-performance cybersecurity products. He also highlighted the need for technological innovation to outpace cybercriminals and called for the leveraging of AI capabilities to accelerate innovation in cybersecurity technology and protection systems. China begins testing AI chatbot for brain surgeons in hospitals. Bloomberg. China is testing an AI assistant for neurosurgeons at seven hospitals in Beijing and other cities. The AI model, called CARES Copilot 1.0, is trained to act as a surgery consultant for doctors. It has been developed by the Hong Kong-based Center for Artificial Intelligence and Robotics, which employed around 100 graphics processor units to train the model. 
The AI bot is designed to answer questions with citations based on more than a million academic records and process diagnostic data such as MRI, ultrasound, or CT scans. The researchers hope that eventually the AI will be able to warn doctors about risky procedures. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6DoBrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.